From Star Wars monsters and weird worms to raptors as fast as cheetahs, here are 13 crazy fossils of strange creatures. Number 13. Euphorbiria Fossils of this animal were first discovered in 1868, and specimens have been located in North America and Europe. If you find millipedes and centipedes upsetting, you would have a tough time dealing with this beast from some 330 million years ago. Actually, it's still being debated whether this animal was more related to centipedes or millipedes, or might represent an entirely unique class of animal. Most sources tend to regard them as an ancestor of both, although there's a big difference. Euphorbira may have measured more than three feet long, that's one meter. Some modern day centipedes are known to prey on bats. What would a critter of this size dine on? Number 12, Strange Snake. Slithering about more than 90 million years ago, this was a marine snake that possessed two small hind legs and a paddle-like tail. At around 34 inches long, or 85 centimeters, it wasn't as large as some limbed reptiles of today. They possess much of the same anatomy. While they did have legs, they apparently had a limited function. Most researchers say the animal's limbs probably represent a transitional form between lizards and legless snakes of the Cretaceous. Chances are, these limbs were lost as the creatures became more adapted to swimming. Possessing larger limbs would have slowed them down and expended more energy. Number 11. Ancient Giant Ants Giant ants sound like an oxymoron, but fossils of a gigantic ant were discovered in 2011 at the Green River Formation in Wyoming. And on a larger scale, it was the first fossil of such an insect found in the Western Hemisphere. Monstrously huge, these ants measured nearly two inches long, that's five centimeters, or about the size of a hummingbird. Living nearly 50 million years ago, this specimen was a winged queen ant. Only a species of large queen ants found in tropical Africa would rival their size these days. You would have had a hard time stepping on an ant this big. In fact, it might have stepped on you. Number 10, Giant Penguins. The emperor penguin is the largest penguin you'll find nowadays. They go an impressive four feet tall, that's 1.2 meters, and weigh up to 100 pounds or 45 kilograms. But did you know that some 37 million years ago, there was a terrifying species of birds that stood nearly seven feet tall, that's 2.1 meters, and weighed upwards of 250 pounds, 113 kilos? That's according to estimates made from their fossils found in Antarctica. To put it in perspective, this critter would be larger than the NBA's Steph Curry. But this big bird might have preferred shooting hockey pucks over shooting hoops. Can you imagine a penguin that huge? Number nine, diminutive dinos. When we think of dinosaurs, we usually imagine huge, vicious beasts like T-Rex or heavy lumbering sauropods like Apatosaurus. But a discovery made in northern Myanmar in 2016 shows that dinos could appear in extremely small sizes as well. Encased in Burmese amber was a specimen that measured a mere 1.4 centimeters long. That's just more than one half inch. It existed nearly 100 million years ago and was about the size of a modern bee hummingbird. To date, it is the smallest dino known from the Mesozoic era. Researchers say the creature would have had bulging, lizard-like eyes and sharp teeth that delivered a relatively strong bite. But there's still a lot of controversy involving this specimen. That includes ongoing debate about its identity and ethical issues connected with the acquisition of Burmese amber. Number eight, beautiful nightmare. Its scientific name translates as perplexing, beautiful chimera. That lets you know this predatory crab was a real prehistoric mashup. The chimera had body parts resembling a lion's head and a snake's tail. While that creature was found only in mythology, this animal truly existed nearly 100 million years ago. It had the claws of a modern crab, a lobster-like shell, a shrimp-like mouth, and incredibly huge eyes. Paleontologists say they were so enormous that it would be like a human with eyes like soccer balls. Its large peepers and other physical features were used for hunting prey like shrimp. They were initially discovered by accident in the Andes Mountains of Colombia in 2005. But similar specimens have been documented in Morocco and Wyoming, among other locations. That wide distribution indicates the small crustaceans must have been some highly adaptable critters. Number seven, Fields of Bufo Frog. The Goliath frog from Africa can weigh more than seven pounds, that's 3.3 kilograms, 
and measure 13 inches long, 32 centimeters. They're the largest frogs known in the world today. But during the late Cretaceous, a much larger specimen inhabited the planet. Its fossils were unearthed in Madagascar in the early 1990s and dated back some 70 million years. Paleontologists think this creature probably weighed about 10 pounds, 4.5 kilograms, and measured more than 16 inches or 40 centimeters. That size would be roughly the equivalent of an amphibian bowling ball. Its enormous mouth exerted a bite force powerful enough to take down juvenile dinosaurs. And its large head was covered in scutes, or bony scales. That's more characteristic of crocodiles and alligators, so it must have been one beast of a frog. No wonder its Latin name translates as devil frog. Number 6. Ancient Toothy Worms This one was found in 1911 and is one of the oddest specimens found in the Burgess Shale deposit in British Columbia. Dating back more than half a billion years, this carnivorous worm was only a few inches long, but it had some nightmarish physical qualities, including a proboscis that was lined with tiny hooks, spines and teeth. It was used for feeding, which was aided by additional teeth that lined the worm's throat. Reconstructions of the ancient beasts indicate that they could have resembled modern-day spoon worms. Identified as priapolids, they are unsegmented worms whose appearance inspires a lot of scatological references. Number 5. The Millennium Falcon Monster While this animal did live a long time ago, it wasn't found in a galaxy far, far away. Paleontologists first stumbled across these fossils in 2011 at the Burgess Shale deposit in the Canadian Rockies. That location is renowned for yielding amazing fossils, and this one is a good example. The creature was dated to the Cambrian period, more than 500 million years ago. Although it measured about 12 inches, 30 centimeters, researchers say it would have been one of the largest animals of its era. Its armored carapace was covered with sharp spikes, and it had rake-like claws that may have been used for sifting through the seabeds for prey. Distantly related to modern-day spiders and insects, these unusual predators probably lived in large groups. Their most intriguing attribute is their horseshoe-shaped shell, which reminded many people of Han Solo's Millennium Falcon in Star Wars. So much so that the animal was named after the spacecraft. But could it make the Kessel Run in less than 12 parsecs? Tell us what you think in the comments below. Number 4. Manipulator A scary species of cockroach was discovered encased in 100 million year old amber. While it bears some resemblance to modern day cockroaches, it was initially mistaken for a praying mantis. Experts say this creature had several features that would have made it a ferocious hunter. Measuring about 4.5 millimeters long, it had a triangular head with large eyes and an additional set of modified eyes atop its head. That, along with other characteristics like long legs, narrow bodies, and large mouth parts, would have made this critter an effective pursuit predator. The insect is thought to have a vicious disposition and would have stalked its prey at night. Scientists say the fossil can help reconstruct the history and environment of these creatures that lived during the early Cretaceous period. Number 3. Dinea velata. The cheetah is recognized as the world's fastest known animal on land. But going back some 67 million years ago, there was a dinosaur that may have exhibited some of that cat's great speed. It couldn't run like a cheetah, but researchers say it would have been a lightning quick predator. Fossils of the feathered dino were found in New Mexico, San Juan Basin, an area that's known for containing such specimens. This one was initially discovered in 2008, before being formally described in 2020. Named for the indigenous Navajo people, Dinella Beata weighed about 50 pounds, 22 kilograms, and stood some three and a half feet tall, that's one meter. Lengthwise, it would have measured six and a half feet, two meters. Researchers say it would have resembled the velociraptors from the Jurassic Park movies. But these real life theropods were even scarier. They had rugged five inch claws, 13 centimeters, and a cheetah-like tail it used as a whiplash while hunting. Its combination of powerful forelimbs and sharp, pointed teeth would have shredded its prey into tiny bits. Along with cheetahs, these beasts have also been compared to wolves. Experts say these dinosaurs may well have hunted in packs. Number 2. Helicoprion Around 290 million years ago, this fearsome critter was swimming in the oceans of the early Permian period. 
paleontologists say it probably measured around 24 feet long, 7 meters. But some evidence suggests the beast may have grown to 40 feet, that's 12 meters. Helicoprion left behind one of the most singular fossils known to date. They display bizarre tooth whirls that inspired the nickname Spiral Saw because it so strongly resembles the cutting tool. The fossils suggest the animal had a flexible jaw with a whip-like quality. Experts think it probably fed itself by snapping it into dense schools of fish. After it impaled sufficient prey, it was reeled back into the animal's mouth. There's still a lot of debate regarding what Helicoprion did with its lower jaw while it wasn't feeding. Because of that, you'll find many different interpretations of what this prehistoric fish may have looked like. Number 1. Mysterious Monster Claw A huge, well-preserved claw was found in the cave system of Mount Owen in New Zealand in 1986. It was still intact with flesh and scaly skin, and was so well-preserved that it seemed to belong to a creature that had only died recently. After inspection, it was determined the mummified claw was over 3,000 years old and belonged to a large prehistoric bird called an upland moa. It stood about 4 feet tall, 1.2 meters, and feathers covered its entire body except for the beak and soles of its feet. It's believed the species died out centuries prior to the artifact's discovery. The claw was later put on display at Te Papa, New Zealand's Natural History Museum in Wellington. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit that big red subscribe button and click the bell for notifications for our next exciting episode right here on Epic Wildlife.